what it do what it do welcome back to woman the cardi b it has been a while though making a video i've been a bit busy yo guys you know the first of all season a lot of shoot will be coming as i didn't have much time to actually do some tutorials with the editing and the shooting it was a bit hectic but i thought today i just do something for you guys in how to shoot also let me show you the picture okay in frame it's good to gram you can check him out on instagram this picture was shot on a canon 90d with a 15 millimeter tool i set up uh in 8600 as the main light and the fuel light as the v8 60d so let's get into it so i'm going to be doing the retouch and a bit of color grading in photoshop so let's get into it this is the picture let me just reset the settings video i reset the settings okay i just watch some stuff which is well with the reset i never i never actually used to reset in in photoshop before so i don't know where it is i don't know where it's reset guys 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 tell me out tell me out of here where is reset i can find reset i doubt if it is reset in this whatever thing so i'm just gonna do this just put zero 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 i think this is the default picture so let's fix up the highlights okay yeah this picture is really blown out even the sky is blown out but we're gonna fix all that okay so let's just reduce the highlights the white blow up with the exposure increase the shadow yeah increase the shadow then that's it let's open the picture okay this is our picture so first you want to remove the soft box on the corner just take your page to select the soft box and just do this yeah it's a bit messy but it's fine the client will notice it so let's crop our picture to four by five four by five so let's just so we're gonna stretch it a bit yeah you can stretch out all pictures too but you don't have to overdo it because it will show it will warp your pictures you just have to do it a bit so that we cover those open spaces okay now we got a perfect framing uh let's go to retouch so i have this action i think i once shared it before this bar of actions i'm gonna share it also in this video but i think i also shared it before so i'm gonna be using this for fs full body which means full frequent separation full body this is the one i'm gonna be using so I just click play I'm gonna be doing the mixer brush technique i think if you go through my videos you also see that one so it's gonna be easy so you just click play here select the second layer take your mixer brush just copy the settings as they are and just type painting painting like that easy like that already working at this using the mixer brush uh, you need to keep on practicing because you don't just paint you, you don't just brush you brush with the with direction right you can't be doing this you know, it messes everything up so you just need to blend properly I'm just gonna click the sharpness. So what you want to do is click the upper layer, the screen layer, then go to sharpness. Let me zoom in so you see the magic happen. Just play, just like that, just like that, easy like that. 
I have shared these sections for free. I give it to you guys for free. Okay, now we've done this. Our pictures just flat and nice and cool. So what we're gonna do is just page these layers and give some style to this picture. Dupl duplicate the, the layer. Let's go to the old sky replacement. I think if you have the recent Photoshop, I think from 2021 going up the if this sky replacement option is just here. Okay. There are various to choose from. There's a lot to choose from. Blue skies, you can choose a lot depending on your style, what you really want. But it's AI, so it does the work for you to replace this for you. So, me, I just want this one, this first one. So, what I'm gonna do is just press OK. Yeah, just replaced. Just close this folder and match the sky replacement with the second layer just match them two of them so what you're gonna do is you can see it's affecting our picture up just now a bit blue on the face so i want to fix that so what you want to do is select subject okay let's just turn off this layer for now select Where is the subject now? Sorry, let's click this uh, layer subject. Okay, let's review. So, I want to mask out on the face. So, what you want to do is click brush, choose the black color, and go on the white area over here and just start brushing so that it fixes this blue pigment on the face so it doesn't affect our subject. Oh, we got that on the way what's next so keep on keep the selection there just make this layers get another duplicate okay so we just want to advice click inverse let's right click on the selection then inverse to do invert selection so we're gonna select the chair we just on minus so that we add the selection doesn't have to be perfect because we just want i'll show you when i'm done where i'm doing this okay we're done so i'm gonna go to filter the black gallery tilt shift uh put it down a bit increase it increase it like this bang just like that just like that so what you're gonna do is go to mask and we're gonna clear you're just gonna brush with the black brush so that you know that nothing overlapped just underneath here Okay, I think we're doing a good job. Okay, we want to merge this layers. So we're gonna do, we're gonna click my secret ingredient. I have a filter of myself. It's called the Roman filter. Just a sauce, just a sauce. We played, bam, just like that. Check it out, guys. Just like that. It's my sauce. So if it's too much, you can just decrease it to your liking i usually put around 50 or 40 but guys come on this thing looks nice off on off on just looks nice trust me it does so i'm gonna put something on 50 let's put it three okay so we're gonna take the levels to it's somewhere here i don't know what you call it, the option over here but yeah click here go to levels um you want to push this left slider the left slider is for the blacks as you can see so if your picture is looking hazy you just push it to the right it's like that it's like that see then this one's for the highlights so you push it to the left to increase your highlights 
you stop when you feel like it when you feel like it's okay for you see let me show you before after before after guys guys tell me this is fire tell me this is fire this is fire guys okay so one little thing is gonna do a vignette not uh, just the sake one this sake for your subject that kids push it up a bit for future blur gosh and blur push it all the way out just like that just like that we got our results guys i don't know what you think but this is for you i'm gonna share this action bar again so that you can use this action that i was using to make it a bit easier for you but guys thank you for supporting i saw some of my videos they are booming us like the one for the spotlight effect it's actually almost up to 6k right now 6k views i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting it but it's booming thank you guys please like subscribe share this is free stuff guys please just share with others so that they get to learn i'm not a pro but I have some one or two that I can teach you when it comes to editing. So stay tuned.